Zero point energy is a quantum mechanical foam that operates throughout the universe. It's omnipresent and makes up the substance of space-time. This zero point energy can also be harnessed and turned into real electrical energy by conversion. Polarization of the ZPE produces electrical current and it's possible to create antennas that will do this. One of the original patents on zero-point energy antennas was by Robert Forward. Robert Forward's patent uses two parallel plates with a coil of wire between them. Because this is zero-point energy, of course, they're on the nanometer scale. This is a version of his antenna. 30 nanometers in length, it's modeled on the mitochondria. If you look at the antenna, the structure of the antenna looks very similar to the structure of mitochondria in human cells. In this way, the parallel plates are connected, and are they're connected and joined in an oval. At either end of this antenna is a magnet, one north, one south, at either end of the antenna. On the top half of the antenna, between the parallel plates, are dendritic antennas. These dendritic antennas are modeled on tree growth, and they're excellent for electrostatic antennas. Using their electrostatic antenna design, we put these antennas between the parallel plates on the top part of the antenna. They don't make contact with the plates, but stay between them. They harness the zero-point energy and radiate it into useful electromagnetic energy.